Steve, we've got a question for you. It is, uh, what should be our first priority in taking action on climate change? There, there really are three things that we need to start with uh, to act on climate change quickly. We, we know we need to act. Um, we know we need to get our emissions uh, down, but we also need to start taking advantage of the opportunity that renewable energy actually has for Australia. Uh, we think about it in terms of what we're going to lose, coal, oil and gas. Uh, really, we need to start thinking about it as the opportunity that it represents. Large scale use of renewables in this country is a massive opportunity that we need to take advantage of. So the first thing that we need to do is transition our energy supply and our energy grid away from fossil fuels and onto renewable energy. So wind, solar, batteries, firmed with hydro, uh, we need the transmission infrastructure built out so that we have a more distributed uh, energy grid. That's the first thing. The second thing is to start electrifying our homes. We need to transition both residential and commercial buildings away from the use of gas, essentially electrify everything. As Saul Griffith has wrote a really good plan that details what that looks like, but essentially solar panels wherever we can, batteries in the home wherever we can, get rid of gas for cooking and heating and, and move our homes into you know, the, the full use of, of electricity for every device. The third thing for us to do is to electrify our transport to the extent that we can. And we need to start with passenger and light commercial vehicles. So we transition away from those as quickly as we can, taking advantage of all that free energy from those renewables and making sure that the cars on the roads are emissions free using um, free energy. We get the benefit of better fuel security without actually buying fuel because we won't need it anymore. So the, the advantages for us as a country are enormous, but by doing just those three things in the space of a decade, we'll have reduced our emissions by more than 66%. We'll be well on the path to a net zero. We'll be on track to meet our Paris Agreement um, and actually contributing as a global leader to keep our emissions under that one and a half degrees.